Yo, this week I got six figures to show you guys. I'm really excited about literally all of them. Two of them are from one anime, two of them are from a separate anime, and two of them are from not an anime, they're from Star Wars. So let's get into this week's video. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with Star Wars to show you guys. So to start us off, we've got number 458, Boss from the Republic Commando game. So fun fact for all you non-Star Wars nerds out there, this is Clone Trooper RC1138, also known as 38, also called Boss. He is the sergeant of the Republic Commando squad in that game. Now that game is really fun. You get to control the entire group. You have like a medic and a heavy and a sniper and you get to like control all of them, tell them where they go, what they're supposed to be doing. It's a really interesting and really fun game. And I'm really upset that I never got to play it. I've watched YouTube videos but as for myself i never got to play republic commando but we do have boss and i think that this figure looks really really nice so republic commando came out on february 28th 2005 i looked it up i don't know the specific date i'm not that big of a star wars nerd i'm a pretty big one but i'm not that big of a one. the republic commando game has a 98 percent like rating and a 10 out of 10 on steam so i mean you can't go wrong if this from what i've seen from what I've been told, this is a very amazing and beautiful game and everybody loved it and everyone was waiting for that second installment or third installment to come out and it just like never ever did. So hopefully we get a remake for the Switch. I think that would be really cool to go ahead and bring Boss back into Star Wars continuity to do it that way. That would be awesome. Next up from Mando Season 2, we have number 489, Casca Reeves from the Specialty Series. Now, I don't remember Casca too much. If I recall correctly, she's hanging out with Bo-Katan and when they meet up with the Mando on the one ship, um, that's her first appearance. That's Casca's first appearance. I may be wrong. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that's the case with this one. And I think my favorite thing about this piece is probably that sticker, that specialty series sticker. That is the only pop that I have that has the specialty series sticker. So there's a first time for everything and I'm glad that it was a Star Wars piece. I really think they nailed the amount of detail on this figure. I mean, the scuffs and scrapes and scratches and the missing paint in her armor, like on her helmet and on her chest plate itself, all of that looks really, really nice. And it really makes it look like, you know, Casca has been in battle. She's been in different wars. She knows what she's doing. And that would probably kind of explain why she's hanging out with Bo-Katan Kreese. So the first anime we're going to take a look at is Jujutsu Kaisen. And to start us off, we have number 1120, the box launch exclusive Gojo. Gojo is Itadori's mentor and kind of one of his closest friends throughout the series. Gojo is also really broken as a character. Like this dude can slash dimensions and, and infrared colors and he's so, so cool. JJK is for sure one of my favorite next gen animes or new gen animes right right up there with black clover i mean they're both so so amazing and i i say it all the time guys but i 12 out of 10 recommend watching jjk like if you like curses if you like magical powers again i know that i said a similar spiel to this like two weeks ago but very good very good show I think my favorite thing about this piece is just how well they managed to get Gojo's attitude and like his his actual personality in this figure. Throughout JJK, I think Gojo has been my favorite and probably will remain my favorite just for the simple fact that he's like cocky and arrogant, but like he has the right to be because he knows exactly what he's doing. Like you can't tell Gojo no, basically. He just knows. We've got number 1152 still in JJK, but this time it's not Gojo. It's Itadori with the extra mouth. And yes, this is the Hot Topic Con exclusive. Sorry, Hot Topic Expo exclusive, my bad. Now, my favorite thing about this piece has got to be this sticker right here. I mean, it just looks so, so good. That gold leaf, the way that it reflects off the light. I mean, look at that, look at that shine. It just looks so nice. And they put it on this figure. This is a great JJK figure to have to put this, this sticker on, to have this as a Hot Topic exclusive. It kind of makes sense. It's one of the weirder figures, but I absolutely love it. And I think that it looks great. And again, the sticker, 12 out of 10, but on the sticker this time. Also on the show, but on the sticker as well. And like I said, my favorite thing about this piece probably is the sticker, but that doesn't take away any of the other facts. Like the amount of detail, the eyebrows, the the mouth itself, his kind of, I don't know if you guys have seen the scene, but he's like freaking out in this scene because his mouth has disappeared and moved to his chin and that's Sukuna. It's, it's a really good scene. I absolutely love it. 
And again, guys, 12 out of 10 recommend watching JJK if you haven't already seen it. We're gonna head over to My Hero Academia, starting with number 1236, Shishida. In case you guys couldn't tell, this is the Bigfoot looking guy from class 1B. Um, his quirk is just that, he's very hairy, he's like Bigfoot. I'm pretty sure that's about it. He's just really strong and is, is hairy, like, like a Bigfoot would be. Honestly, I don't remember too much about this guy other than the fact that he's hairy and is supposed to be like Bigfoot. That's that literally is it. So I'm sorry that I don't have more information on that, but I do really, really enjoy these class 1Bs and I almost have every single one of them that they've released. So that's pretty cool. That's about it. <laughs> that's kind of all that's kind of all I got for for this piece. It's like it's neat, it's flocked, it's cool, it's a hot topic flocked one. It's my first ever hot topic flocked one, but that's that's it. It it's class one B. We don't know them very well. I'm sorry. And last but not least, from My Hero Academia, we have number 1254, Pony, another class 1B student. Now, Pony is in the exact same boat with Shishida. I have no idea really what her quirk is, what she does, what she actually contributes to the show, other than that she's in class 1B and they did the class 1A versus class 1B thing. That's literally it. That's the only thing I remember about this character. But we have the character. And like I said, this is almost the last one that I need. So after doing a little bit of research, it looks like a girl pony's quirk is considered what is called horn cannon. So she can shoot a bunch of different horns out. They rapidly regrow and she can continue to shoot them. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. That would be a quirk that I wouldn't mind to have. However, I don't think that pony should have gotten a pop for this. I don't think any of the class 1v1 should have gotten a pop for this. I don't know why they're still getting pops, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna collect them. What else can I do? So that is it for this week's video, guys. If you enjoyed, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. Hit that notification bell so that you get notified every single time that I post a video. I've been Michael, and until next time, stay cool. See you guys.